Okay, I uh, just want to talk about this bike a little bit. So this bike is, uh, is one of its kind. It's, uh, uh, it's a Chinese bike and it's made uh, um, to look like a Honda Grom. It's, it's probably a very close replica of Honda Grom. So, but it's electric, so that's that's what's cool about this bike. It's a fully electric and uh, obviously no gas, no major maintenance like uh, oil or anything that, like that. Um, brakes are good for maybe, I don't know, 50,000 miles because it's using its regenerative braking to, uh, for, for braking, for most of the braking, 90% of all the braking. So uh, the cool part of it is that most Chinese bikes are have a hub motor here. This one is a mid-drive, so it has a QS motor here. It's a QS, a Quan Chun, uh, Chinese company that's very popular for electric bikes like this bike. Also has the same company motor, but it's a hub motor. It's very powerful to motor too, up to 20 kilowatt. Uh, this one is rated for three kilowatt. However, it can do much more than that. It's probably up to 25 kilowatt or so. So um, if you can look here, this has a belt drive. You can you can look here. So it has a belt drive, so it's pretty efficient, and it's very torquing. As you can see, it's almost the size of this uh, uh, wheel here, uh, the sprocket, so to speak. It's almost it's very close to the size of the of the rim. So it's a it's a very torquey bike. So the hundred gram can, is top output is nine kilowatt. I'm sorry, nine horsepower. This one can output, as configured right now, it, it can output um, 20 kilowatt, but it can be set to, to output up to 30 kilowatt of power. So it's, that's at least three times more than Honda Grom. Uh, and it's light, it's probably lighter than Honda Grom. I haven't uh, put it on the scale just yet, but it can, uh, it's, it's a lighter bike. I, I can move it with my, so I can move it easily. So what else? Uh, going on here. So we have a. So this bike is already equipped with the charging, um, fast charging. So it has the two QS. I'm sorry, two uh, Altec flat packs that can charge um, this bike at approximately four kilowatt uh, of power. And this charger can output up to full four kilowatt um, charging current. I mean, it outputs forty. Uh, amps at 100 volt. Um, this will convert it to DC power from AC to DC. Okay, what else? Uh, this bike has. Uh, so this is how you would turn it on. Obviously, uh, it shows miles per hour, so it's uh, it's not a kilo. It's it's uh, adapted to for the uh, U.S. market, and uh, it also has a power velocity application. Right now, temperature is not connected, so it's not showing the right temperature. However, it shows the voltage, amps, uh, trip, odometer, uh, RPM, RPM here, and you can configure those things here. Can also uh, eventually be programmed from here as well. So uh, it has all the lights, standard lights, to be uh, fully legal, and it's uh, compatible. I mean, it's just fully legal for the U.S. roads and uh, with the DMV in California. It's registered. Right now, it has a temporary registration. It's pending a verification from CHP uh, Highway Patrol. But uh, otherwise, it's fully legal and it will get its permanent license plate uh, later on. So, uh, anyway, fully legal. And uh, pricing will be available soon for this bike can be configured with smaller battery right now it's nine kilowatt hour battery right now so estimated range on this bike is uh, up to uh, 90 miles per charge from fully charged to empty and uh, can be fast charged as, I, as, I, as I'm saying it can be also charged from a regular outlet 120 volt outlet so consumption